is Spree has some nice capabilities to give you a lot more confidence in your programs sent to the machine. If we spend a little extra time building our tooling and our work holding components in the shop to use in our digital twin, our spindle time will increase, meaning more profits. Too much time is spent using an expensive machine as a simulator. Set it up accurately upstream and send rock solid programs to the floor. So let's continue with setting up the part and the machine. So the first thing that we'll do to set up the actual part is we'll come to the part setup. And here we're gonna basically look at this part and in the geometry area, after I double click on it, I'm going to pick the solid model. And you can set, you know, feeds and speeds or knowledge base here. So we're going to say OK. And then we're going to come <clears throat> and create one of these other icons here. We're going to do a bar stock. So right now we want to just define a bar that is going to fit around this part. So depending on the diameter, this shows me that the diameter is 2. You might be placing this on a bar fed, so you might want to add a bunch of extra height to it. If you're using a billet, you might want to add just a little bit, you know, depending on uh, what's pre-cut for you. So if I wanted to leave a little bit of stock on the face and on the back, you know, let's just, let's just make it easy. We'll do this at uh, 4.2 and you'll see that it's centered, okay? Uh, but you could select like a line top and that will place the stock at the face of Z0. And then here, you know, we can set this, uh, we can set this top margin to 0.1, which would basically give us the same result. Or we can change this to a different value, say 50,000. So we would have 50 thousandths on this side and 150 thousandths on the back. You know, whatever you want to do here, um, you can do that using these commands. If I do auto size, it's going to bring it back to the face on the front and the back. And then uh, maybe I want to change my outside diameter to uh, something that I would order, whatever, two and an eighth, let's say. And we'll just do this at uh, 4.2 and do a, <clears throat> a line top at point one. So that is how you would set up your bar stock. Once I've done that, we'll just say OK twice, and we have that defined. Now, um, inside of Esprit, uh, you're going to go ahead and load in your machine at this point.